Um, I mean, I just I really enjoyed the match. I've got to be honest. Um, and I mean, John was really good yesterday. He, mi he missed a few today, but still had some big breaks. And I was just trying to hang in there. I mean, apart from the 12th, I really I missed a few balls. I mean, I don't I done a lot wrong throughout the match. Really, you're talking bits and pieces I've missed. Really, I missed a few in the 12th, like I said, which was actually was a big frame as it turned out. He could have gone six all, or uh, or obviously eight six to John. So it was a big frame. But um, yeah, I mean. You know, I've played a, a lot, lot worse than that and won plenty of matches, that's for sure. But, um, yeah, I mean, yesterday, like I say, I've, I've barely done anything wrong yesterday. It'd be 6 3 down, so I sort of done what it'd be 6 3 down the way John played. And, um, you know, again, today, just trying to hang in, just play ball by ball. I was just trying to enjoy it and then not think too far ahead or each frame as it comes, each ball as it comes, and, and that's it, really. You mentioned that miss with the chance to go 6 6. I mean, as you said, that's. Felt like a big turning point, but it shows you the pressure you're under out there with the, some of the balls you miss. I mean, that's that's yeah. what it's like out there, isn't it? it, it they look easy, they ain't. It, I sort of showed the Joe Joe now on the edges. I mean, all the times I've been here, you're you're never you're always under pressure. Even the times I play really well in one matches, you, it's like it, it won't let you go. No, you're not going to feel good and relax. It's always something holding you back in this place. It's amazing, really. And yeah, Joe near the nail on the edges too. You're always under pressure and. I wouldn't have any more pressure that frame than, than the other, even though it's to go, um, was it 6 all or 7 all? I can't remember. I think it was 6 all, wasn't it? Yeah, it's to go been. 6 all. I wouldn't have any pressure, just I missed a couple of shots I don't particularly like, and I missed them. I need to practice them. That's all it was. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I didn't feel any different. I was just felt the same all the way through. I enjoyed it. I came here to enjoy it because I don't know when you're going to get here again. No, I'm playing well enough, don't get me wrong. I mean, my game's as good as ever, really, but I'm. You know, I'm 46. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it again. So I brought my family up, and I just really wanted to enjoy it, and I did. I enjoyed as much as you can at this place. I enjoyed every minute of it. And you're able to pick your family out as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're up there. So I mean, you know, they really enjoy it. Actually, the boy, the boy loves it. Come to Crawley was his first sort of taste of it, and uh, he really likes it. So he's um, got the bug, I think. You've obviously played well this season. I mean, how important now is it that you go away, maybe have a bit of a break, and then come back strong for next season? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've played all right. I mean, I'm. The China ones have been a bit of a nightmare. I've played pretty shocking in them, I've got to be honest. I'm not sure if the travelling is a bit wearing me out, but I'm not too sure. So I'm going to try to get a bit fitter again, like I was before. And uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, I'm doing a bit with Chris Emery this year, and, and we were doing a few things, and it sort of really gave me a bit of enthusiasm, you know, as, um, you know, to practice and everything, which does get harder as you get older. So yeah, it's all good. We're all doing a few. I've, obviously, I've proved this season on the odd tournament that I can still play well. So. Just like to have a little break, not too long, and then get ready for next season. Well, we wish you all the best for that. Lovely, cheers. cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Have a okay, good nice one. Cheers. cheers. Thank you. Yeah, go on. Yeah. And yesterday. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he looked very. I mean, I don't blame him. I mean, people are loose to me that much. You've got to get the ump eventually. Can't be having that going on too often, but look, I, I, you know, I was sort of getting this ridiculous comments back home. I mean, I, obviously, I understand it because you know, good draw. I mean, good draw. You, you right? Or what? It's, he's up there with Ronnie, as far as I'm concerned, as the best player ever. Absolutely no doubt about that at all in my mind. And um, I know I beat him a few times, but John doesn't go to pieces because because someone beats him a few times. You don't win what he's won by having that sort of attitude. But I think he had got to him. A couple of times I played him, but this is a different place, and obviously I beat him here a few years ago as well. He looked very determined. I've got, got to be honest, he was, um, you know, all the way through the match. He, he, he's really there, and, and he, and no, I thought he played good. Missed a few more today than yesterday, but in general, he was, he was scoring. We scoring much better than me. My cue ball was shocking throughout the match. It was the only thing that sort of cost, well, maybe cost me. I don't know. Sort of cue ball on my bake off. I kept left leaving a red. The only time I didn't leave a red on the bake off, I left a plant. I didn't get another shot. So it was, a, but yeah, he's, he had a lot of breaks, and um, yeah, he, he, but to answer your question, he looked very determined. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what they do. I'm I'm not so sure it's as much playing me. I think it's more the fact that he's lost in the last two finals, and he wants to put that right more than anything else. To be honest with you, and uh, yeah, he's got a good chance. I'll, I'll still invite him off. That's for sure.